Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can't do that. <laughs> can't say things like that anymore. But let's do that again. <laughs> People of the world, we have arrived at Mia's sixth birthday. <laughs> Guys, this day has been absolutely insane. Mia is loving her birthday, her first day properly out of the nest in a very, very long time. The amount of people that are here is amazing. Everyone is so lovely. The stalls, thank you World Power Trust. You guys have done absolutely amazing for this beautiful girl. Can't wait to show you guys the rest of the day. Yeah, she's like, oh, good nest material. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? On oh, the that is gorgeous. <gasps> Who is that, that? Mimi? Oh, there we go. Oh, good. Oh, it's holding me. Yeah. What you got there? This is from Charlie, from Mia, oh, and wow. Mikey. Hand picked cucumbers. What, grown in your garden? Yeah, yeah from my nanny. Nanny's, from nanny's garden. A lot oh, wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Thank you so much. High five, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Alina, say we're gonna go meet the birds. We're gonna go meet the birds. <laughs> nice. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we have Paco and Pearl. So this is Miley, and uh, Miley is a little severe McCall. It's a guy, yeah. Sky, storm. My other one's there. So. Who's this? Chico. <laughs> oh, introduce Hello. the birds. So we have Mango Pango and myself Ella. Here's Tango. Yeah, yeah. That's me. <laughs> Tango. That's the thing then. This is Eric. This is Rio. <laughs> this is Tallulah and Rao. This is Malik. Oh, this is Missy. Who's that? Billy. Billy. Ricky. This is Chase. That's Polly. And then you've got Jesse. Rocky. Enzo. This is Rio. Mango. This is JJ. This is Oscar. 13 yeah. years old. MJ. That's the naughty girl. Jakey's out. Kiki's the baby of the family, she's four, and Sophie, 23. Nora! Nora! Nora. Yeah! Oh, love it! Look! Birds. Hi, how are you? My name is Maria. I work for the Kiwa Center. We're part of the World Power Trust. Uh, we are an NGO who works for the conservation of pirates in the world. So we have two main focuses, which one of them is conservation of pirates in the wild. And the other one is like improving the welfare of the pirates that are in captivity aspects. So yeah, thank you very much. About midway through the day, massive success. Hundreds of people, everyone is just amazing. Mikey and Mia are taking a little bit of time to just chill out, get some shade, feed each other. Um, we are super, super surprised how chilled Mia is actually not being in the nest. It's just one of those things where we were a bit unsure. For the last week or so, we were kind of taking her outside in the garden and uh, just, you know, letting her do little flies here and there, but then she'd be straight back to the nest. But the moment she was here, it's like that nest never even existed. And she's basically back to the way she's always been. Her and Mikey on roofs. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Yay. <laughs> Oh, 
We're here with Coco. Coco's a little celeb in London, aren't you? You wanna come hang? Coco and Shelby. I very rarely have my own birds on me anymore. They're off somewhere. Ah! There we go. <laughs> hey, Shelby. The reality of it. There he is. And then And we're back home and it's actually nearly two weeks later. Sorry we didn't actually finish the video at Mia's birthday. Loads of crazy stuff started happening. So basically, at around four o'clock, everyone went home. Mikey and Mia went for one last fly and Mia decided not to come back. Now we weren't sure where she was. There was a whole bunch of us literally looking everywhere for about two solid hours. At this one point as well, our friends Jordan and Fionn had their bird Storm in a tree as well, refusing to come down. Now Storm wasn't actually free flight trained, so a little bit more risky because his harness snapped. So we were thinking, oh, could this be an overnighter? We're missioning around, trying to look for Mia everywhere, throughout the villages, walking literally everywhere we could, and then she ended up just being in a tree right next to Storm, just chilling there, in plain sight, just having some time to herself, basically. She came down the moment she saw Mummy Human, and that was always fun. You know, Mia's a great flyer, she knows exactly what she's doing. It was just probably one of those things with the day that just kind of really, really overwhelmed her. And she was like, you know what? I just need some alone time. Now with Storm, I waited there with Jordan probably till about maybe 7.30 until the sun basically started setting and Storm was basically ready to sleep. We headed back to our house, he crashed here, and straight back there the next morning, um, Mummy Human and him went, and they were there at about, I think, half five in the morning or something crazy like that. Now, Jordan was basically running back and forth and calling, and Storm actually really tried to come down. Kept basically swooping down, then straight back in a tree, swooping down, straight back in another tree. Now this, believe it or not, went on for about six hours. Crazy, right? Just swooping from tree to tree to tree. It's always one of those things where birds do need to learn that confidence to actually descend. It's one of the biggest things when it comes to teaching free flight. Uh, eventually, Storm did come down. A bag of food got bought out and uh, he was straight down. So happy endings for all. But that's basically why we actually stopped filming at the event. You know, it's situations like that, getting Storm out, finding Mia, that is our main priority. We weren't even thinking about filming. I didn't even know where I put my camera at that point. We were like, we need to get these birds out of these trees and get home. But that's basically it. Once again, a massive, massive shout out to the World Parrot Trust. Honestly, you guys really nailed it putting this event together. Can't wait to the next one. And if you didn't miss it and you do want to donate to help the World Parrot Trust, who are helping birds in the wild and in captivity, there will be a link in the bio straight to their website where you can donate. Uh, but for now, thanks for tuning in once again.